about four years ago, I died of a heroin overdose, okay? And um, when I died, I mean, I died. Like, they had to call the ambulance. I was completely blue. I, I had stopped breathing for many, for a long time. I think my heart stopped. I think I was, like, dead, okay? The, uh, the ambulance put Narcan in my, in my, in my, I don't know, but they put Nar Narcan in me. And, um, um, and then I woke up, but I, and this is what I remember at first, okay? I remember, I remember going somewhere really, really dark, but I went somewhere, okay? I went somewhere. And it was pitch black, okay. And I don't, I don't remember any time passing. I don't remember passing out or falling down or anything like that, okay. I just remember I was like, whoa, I got a really hard hit of heroin. And then the next thing I would know, I it's black for a long time, like a weird. I went somewhere really black. And then I, um, and then I woke up and there, and then then there was just, all of a sudden there was this ambulance and uh, EMTs everywhere okay I knew I'd went somewhere though because it was really pitch black I that's I'm trying really hard just to like tell you it in order but it's so hard because I don't remember in order but when I remember coming out of it I remember seeing like I said and I think in my first testimony I said I saw like a, a, a black woman not an african-american woman a like a black shape of a woman but it was big, a big black shape of a woman. And th I didn't know what that was until way later, okay? But I remember that day, I immediately started experiencing, and for the four, for, from this point on, and I was even um, experiencing paranormal activity before that because I was on drugs, okay? And I was very suicidal, and I think these things just like that stuff and they get attracted to that stuff. I was already experiencing some supernatural stuff but after this my supernatural stuff went from like a five to a 20 on the, t the level of 10 scale okay um anyway so what happened was i started experiencing and me experiencing memories uh, these weren't just regular memories these are like ptsd full-blown bone deep memories okay and when I was like, remembering remembering them, I was like, it was still there, okay? Um, the worst thing over the past four years is the worms, okay? I remember, I remember worms all over my body and in my hair, and I couldn't, they would, and um, they won't, they don't die. They wouldn't die. They like, they just kept coming and coming and coming. I kept seeing worms on people and worms on like, on myself and like there's I remember when I even that day I saw a worm in my eye even though I could see through it it had a diamond shaped head it had a diamond shaped head okay it was so scary and I and I started I'm trying to say what I was experiencing what I remember at the same time and it's because there's a lot there's a lot of weird things I experienced a lot the my life over the past four years has been a, an episode of x-files okay but I didn't know there were demons for a while so what happened was I started scare, experiencing a poltergeist activity in my apartment, okay? I would wake up every morning and my shoes would be in a line, like a snake. Like I didn't know it was a snake though. I didn't understand what was going on. I, my my clothes would do it sometimes, but mainly my shoes, they'd be in the shape of like a like this, but all together, like all 20 shoes like this, okay? So unless I was hallucinating, unless I was sleepwalking and putting my shoes like that and forgetting about it and waking up and going, whoa, I don't know how that, how that could have happened. Okay. Anyway. So, but I remember when, okay. So I started experiencing a lot of like poltergeist activity and I started, started seeing, this is before I started hearing things, okay? I was starting to see like snakes everywhere. Like my, with my shoes, like the shape of snakes, but they were like in this shape and like under my clothes, but they would be moving, okay? And it was so scary. Like snakes, big ones, little ones, worms, okay? And I was freaking out. I didn't know what these things were. I know these things were, 
were these worms, snakes, whatever. I thought aliens were talking to me or something. I didn't know what these things were. I just know whatever this was was highly intelligent. If though I look back now, it's obvious that it's demons. But these things were super highly intelligent. I tried everything to get rid of them. And they'd even pretend to go away for a little while, then just come back. They're like, they're just, they're playing with me. I know that now. Okay. But like, oh, okay, I'm finally getting rid of these things. And then they like two minutes later, they would be like, it would be even worse than it was before. Anyway, so I was like, I knew it had something to do with when I died. And I started like, this is way, way before I started reading the Bible and praying to Jesus. Okay. I didn't know what was going on. I was literally, I almost lost my mind. I really did. I, I didn't know what things what these things were. I kept, um... I didn't know what to do. Okay, I moved. I moved away from my um, the city I was in. I just thought if I could run away from these things. Like I just moved out of my apartment. Nope. I moved in with my sister. Okay, I moved with my sister. I, I moved from Phoenix to Colorado because I just couldn't get rid of these worms at first. Okay, these feelings of worms all over my body. And I'm trying to mix my third eye text testimony with what I remember in hell because they, it's so crazy. Okay, and when I first got to Colorado, like everything was fine for a while. Like everything went silent. Like it was, I was like, oh, okay, maybe, you know, but then I started being like, no, I saw stuff. I was experiencing that stuff. That, was, that stuff was real. Okay. Um, I started hearing tapping in the mirror. Okay, tapping in the mirror. And I started freaking, I started sh seeing shadow people. This is when I started seeing things other than just the snakes and worms. Okay. I started seeing shadow people. If you guys, I thought I was a targeted individual. Maybe I was. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, I'll try to put a link below. There are people who think that people are following them. It's demonic. They, some people know it's demonic, but they think that people are monitoring them. And that's because they're the watchers, okay? They are monitoring you. But I didn't know that then. But I thought I was looked up, looking up because I kept hearing repeated sounds like ambulances. Like, but on repeat though. On repeat it was so scary okay so um targeted individual people there it's demonic I know it doesn't seem like it is but it is because you keep hearing repeated sounds like the ambulances 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 car horn it's the same car coming around the corner like a time loop like literally like audio time loops I don't know it's demonic but I don't understand it. it's like it has a lot to do with interdimensional stuff it really does you guys I didn't know if they were good or bad, like, at, at first. The snakes and stuff, they stopped for a while, okay? And when I moved to Colorado to get away, okay, um, I started, um, I swear, you guys, I met real Satanists, okay? People who were practicing real bla black magic. I didn't know they were Satanists. They don't do, they don't work that way, you guys. They're not, devil's not stupid, Okay, You're, he's not going to send you some goth kids smoking, chain smoking cigarettes to get you to do demonic stuff. You don't know. That's how they get you into their cults. Okay, they don't, you don't know. Just like when you join Freemasonry. Oh, it's just like Boy Scouts. I didn't know these guys were Satanists. Okay, literally, because I was trying to figure out what this stuff was. I think Satan himself sent me. Satanists to come and like mess me up even more because I was like I was determined to figure I was like I was still suicidal but I was determined to figure out what this was because I couldn't get rid of it I kept seeing and hearing things I kept hearing people talking and then this is when I started hearing them talking but they sounded just like people at first okay uh I wanted to know what was going on so I was hanging out with people who said they saw weird things too okay so I was trying to figure out what they knew, but I didn't trust them. I wasn't that stupid, but I was stupid. Okay. I'm, uh, first of all, real Satanists, real Satanists are normal people. Okay. They are normal people. These people look like any person on the street. They weren't wearing golf clothes. They did not have pentagrams all over their doors and stuff like that. They looked like regular people. Some of them had some creepy paintings in their the, on their walls. And if, I'm reminding you, I remember, I'm reminding you, I didn't know these guys were Satanists, okay? I thought these guys, well, anyway, this, anyway, these guys told me that they could channel interdimensional beings. And 
I didn't trust that, but I st was determined to figure out what I was experiencing. So I was like, okay, I started hanging out with these guys because I wanted to know what was going on with me. And I was got sick and tired of everyone just saying, like normal people just saying I was crazy. Okay, and these people didn't say, oh, you're not crazy. No, they're real. These are interdimensional beings. At first when I heard that, I was like, you guys are nuts. Interdimensional beings? Because I was like, I was like, oh, no, I was like, it's aliens. Like, I am stupid. Anyway, I'm going to get to my hell testimony, testimony too. Because then after this, God started remembering the things I saw in hell. Because I was, I was remembering things and experiencing them at the same time in real life. Like my, my ball testimony. I genuinely do not know if that was happening in real time or if that was just a, a PTSD flashback. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. That's how, because when it was happening, it was happening. It looked like it was experiencing it all over again. It was like PTSD. Like like when people um, from the army and stuff, they it's like they're really there again. That's what that's what my these memories were. Okay? Anyway, so these Satanists, you guys... This is when things got bad. I didn't know. I didn't know yet that these things were demons, okay? I don't care if I lose my life. I'm gonna figure out what these things are. And that's almost what happened, okay? So they told me they could talk to interdimensional beings and they showed me how, okay? And, oh man, I'm starting to shake a little bit. You guys, these things, we'd go, we'd rent a hotel room, okay? And they would show me like, okay, Oh man, I'm so scared to tell you this because they told me they would kill me if I told anybody. Okay, they said later that if you tell anybody, we were gonna punish you. And here I am trying to tell people because I needed to do it. I needed the prote protection from God and Jesus before I even could talk about it because they would attack me and they threatened my life. Okay, demons and these sat these Satanists. I didn't know they were that were them at the time. They're like, if you tell anybody that we are doing this, you they're gonna punish you. Okay, and I was like, whatever. I was like, I was really arrogant. Okay, I was like, so I was, I wanted to know what these things were, but I wasn't like anything holy or anything. That I was like, whatever. Okay, but I wasn't like gonna listen to them either. I was so arrogant, but it kind of blew up in the devil's face because I was just like, um, whatever. You know what I mean? I was scared, but I was like trying to figure out what the hell, what the heck was going on. And I'm trying to decide how much I should share, but. These guys were performing sex magic rituals, okay? The, that's why I tell you, I didn't do it. I refused to do it, and this is how I got in trouble, okay? They were doing Diablo sex magic rituals, okay? And these are just regular sex, sex rituals you do in your home, okay? But these were organized in a certain way on a certain night because the stars had to be right, and all this weird stuff, okay? I didn't understand. I thought these guys were talking. I wanted to know what happened to me because I was traumatized by going to hell. And I wanted to know what these weird memories and what these things following me were, okay? So, anyway, I'm not kidding you. I could, that's when I started hearing these things talking, okay? And I could s kind of start. This is, my third eye wasn't open yet, but this is when it started opening, okay? And I didn't know that's what, I, what was happening. And I really think Satan sent these guys to mess me up because I was I they were trying to get me to kill myself and it almost happened. Okay. Um Oh man, I'm so scared. I this is one thing I never told anybody, even my sister, because they told me like we're gonna kill you. I was like, if I die after this video, I don't even care. I'm gonna go to heaven. I know I'm gonna go to heaven now, but so I'm just telling you what's really going on under these this reality, okay? This is fake. These people were normal people, okay. Anyway, these things started coming into the room, and the room would change. It was like entering into another dimension. Okay, that's because the, the, the hell and the demonic realm and the spirit realm are a different dimension. I didn't get that. Okay, I was we, they were entering. I was with them. We, we entered another dimension. We didn't like go into like outer space or anything. Like we were still in the same whole room. But it was not the same. It was not. It was like into a different dimension. Like we, everything changed. I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's super demonic, super demonic. And I was like, okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what what's like going on because I wanted to figure out what's going on to me with me. Anyway, 
So I used to, so the thing is they try to get me to do their sex rituals. Okay, and I I didn't know at the time. I just thought they had these things told them to do these certain things. Okay? And they would I don't know what the I think people, I was like, I don't care. I don't know what the reward was. Like, I didn't understand because I was like pretending I knew, but I didn't know. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. What? I was like, why are aliens wanting us to have sex with each other? Like, orgy sex. And just regular sex and homosexual sex, okay? There weren't kids there or anything like that. Are you crazy? I was not that, I'm not that evil. I mean, you know what I mean? But that's how all that pedophilia stuff and Pizzagate and stuff, all that stuff is real. It's a ritual. It's a satanic ritual. Okay, and I never saw these people had sex, but I knew that's what they were doing before I got there. Okay, and they tried to slowly get me into, into it. And I was like, no. I was like, I left in the middle of whatever they were doing, like right in the middle of their thing, which you're not supposed to do. I was just like, I am out of here. This is, be, this is, I don't know what this is enough to know even, no. Like, why do aliens want us to have sex? Like, that didn't make any sense to me. So I was like, I was like, I'm out of here. I was like, you guys do whatever you want. And I got to start screaming at these people because I was just like, because I, I knew they were blind to me. I just didn't know why or what. I didn't get it. And I ran out of there. The only, they, I got spiritually attacked. Like, I, no joke. It was like, I went crazy. Like, really. And I had a panic attack and I tried to kill myself. And I saw all these things running all over the room. Okay, and they were like, and they're, but they're still pretending to help me. It was so weird. I didn't get it. They weren't being mean. They're like, yeah, you, you're all, you're going to be all right. You're going to freak out. Well, like, I don't know, but they were attacking me. They're trying to like, anyway, I tried to kill myself because I had the worst panic attack. And this is what hell was like. I'm going to bring it up in a minute. It was like another memory of when I went to hell. Okay. It was like a panic attack, but it was it's not like a panic attack. It's like 10 times thousands worse, okay? I literally tried to kill myself immediately. I was like, ah! Because I was just in so much torment, okay? Emotional torment. My body felt okay, but I was in so much emotional torment. Like, I just felt like I got disconnected from God is what happened. Because these see, I was doing stuff. So, while I was in the hospital, they these voices came and they were telling me to kill myself while I was in the hospital. So I tried to kill myself again in the hospital. And that's when I really knew uh, these re these things really started revealing themselves to me. I was like, why are these things encouraging me to kill myself? Weren't they supposed to be helping me? That's how sneaky the devil is, guys. Anyway, so I got back from the hospital and that's when I started experiencing more stuff, but I started getting into the Bible. Back, okay. I obviously never saw these people again. I didn't hang out with them anymore. I stopped completely, okay? And I, um, this is when I started realizing these things were demons again, other than the ball thing. The, this is the, then after this, the ball thing started happening. Because I started really, really, it was, I was looking at, thank the Lord for these testimonies. Because I started watching these, targeted individual testimonies and some of them were saying they were demons and I was like what you know what I mean like no I was like no that's crazy <laughs> but no it's so obvious though um so um I got back and I started kind of reading the bible a little bit and I tell you these things did everything they could to get me off of that Okay, because I was trying to, like, figure out, I was like, maybe Jesus is real. You know what I mean? This is my very first was, like, maybe they're demons. Even though it's, like, obvious now there's snakes everywhere and worms. And then I started experiencing memory again. Like, God was helping me. He was like, oh, man. So I started, this is when my third eye started opening really bad. I, and it was weird. It was, like, a gift from God. But I don't want to say that because that's an evil thing. Do not open your third eye because, oh. He allowed that evil, the evil eye open, my evil eye to open so I would know what happened. It, it was kind of, it was a curse and a revelation, okay? So I started, my third eye opened and I started remembering things in hell when I went to hell. I remember when I got there, it was pitch black. It was pitch black. And I remember, and, um, 
I remember worms all over people. I remember skeletons. And you guys, you guys, when you get to hell, it's, um, it's so horrible. It is so horrible there. Okay, it is beyond your worst imagination. Then God only let me remember a little bit of it. Okay, it is like having a panic attack. I remember my skin. I remember my skin like melting off of my bones and off my body and just screaming and just like ah, because it's so as like I only remember remember it. I remember and this is when I came back and started remembering this stuff all even more. It goes at first it was just a little bit, and then like the memories started coming and. I, when I was, like I said, when I was remembering these things, it was like it was this experiencing all over again. So I started freaking out. I thought I was crazy, you guys. Oh my man, this place is so bad, you guys. First, everything is moving. Everything moves. Like it's alive. Everything was alive down there. <sighs> Seeing these things, they were demons, okay, but in my memories, I didn't know what these were. They were big, black, they were demons. They were huge. These things are huge. They were the Nephilim. This is why I know all those, why the Bible's is true. This is why I'm going to talk about more, more about the Nephilim. It makes me very uncomfortable. But that these things are giants. They're big. And they're disgusting. Okay? And that's when I started seeing and remembering Shiva. That, that. And there was like, why am I seeing? And, but this was, I, with my third eye open, I was really seeing this thing. Okay? It had six arms, and its hair was like, and this thing was like, and it was jumping all over the wall, like Spider-Man, okay? And it had a tongue, and it was like spitting venom out of its tongue, just like Venom Spider-Man, but it was Shiva too, okay? Same type of demon. Sp Shiva has six arms because she's a spider, okay? These demons are part animal, deformed part animal and human, and something else, and rot, and I remember the smell. It, everything is rotting, 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 rotting. I was seeing ghosts of little kids. They're all demons. Don't ever believe it. I was seeing... This is a really bad one. I remember seeing... I Guys, I know this sounds crazy. I'm just telling you the truth. Um, I remember seeing... I'm trying to mix my third eye testimony with my health testimony. Because that's how I remember it. That's how it happened. It was both. I was experiencing memories of hell and my third eye opened. So yeah, I was mess, hot mess. A hot mess, okay? Both. I was it, completely gone, confused. Anyway, I'm gonna bring up that, that big woman in a second. And I started seeing that big woman again, like in my room, like outside. And she was just, but, and I started looking at her and trying to figure out what was going on, okay? And I remember seeing her down there Okay, two. And just like Pan. Pan, I, he, I, when I first saw Pan, it's not like I knew he was Pan. I was like, what's this weird Peter? I look, he looked like Peter Pan. This is why those Disney movies are, those Disney movies scare me. They know. Okay. Um, I saw Pan. I was like, why am I seeing cartoon characters? Okay, I, when I first saw him, I could see through him. Like, he wasn't like a solid figure. But he was, it was so crude because the Bible says your sin is next to the door. <laughs> okay. They said your sin is always waiting for you by the door. And I'd always see him by my door. It was so, God was like, really, when you read the Bible, you understand all this stuff. I can see him. He was always needing, waiting for me by the door. And uh, I started seeing spirits in the trees monitoring me. Those are the watchers. They are. I know that now because I read the Bible. And I'm like, yep. The watchers, they monitor you. The reason why you get so paranoid when you do drugs is because something is watching you because you're doing drugs. Like, it's both. You're sensing it too. Okay? I really, I was like, I, I was in a place that was pitch black and I only have enough light in my memory to even know what I was looking at. I had bars, real bars, and it was, everything was moving. Everything was, my ball testimony, everything was moving. It was like, and everybody, I started, I didn't hear a bunch of people screaming. I ha kept hearing people screaming like over here for a while, then over here for a while, up here for a while, and down there for a while. Like there were cells all around me. And people were being tortured by these things. They were, even though there was a wall right there, I could still see what the, some of these things were doing to people, okay? These things, these things were, um, 
they they were oh man and my memory of this is vague on purpose god only let me remember let me remember enough of it so i don't go crazy and i almost did go crazy these things were eating people eating people like they're ripping them apart and eating them okay they're eating them and they were like rape i'm, I'm gonna be very honest with you this video is gonna be disgusting they're raping people in half okay you guys don't understand these things are huge and your body doesn't die down there okay it's like your body just reanimates and it just keeps going it just only keeps going to keep torture the torture goes on for eternity and when you get to hell you know you're there forever okay it's not oh i want and when you get to hell you're not like which god sent me here you know it's the god of the bible everyone that no one in hell is arguing over religions anymore not one person first of all you're not allowed to talk to anybody you're even though you can see other people kind of you're you're alone okay you're all alone these things were eating people other people were eating other people okay i remember that but the worms is what i remember and i remember my body kept melting 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 and i remember i was in so much agony i was and i was screaming and i remember not being able to say the I remember not being able to say Jesus' name, and that's in the Bible. When you're in hell, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to say Jesus' name. Okay. When I started reading the Bible and I realized all this stuff was in here, I was just like, "That, this Bible's not no. This Bible's real." Um, oh man. Anyway, these demons—they are like a pit bull with a a rag doll. Okay, they're just like ah. There's like no, and these things, the hatred from these things are just so intense. And there's worms all over them too. It's, they stink, their hair's all matted. Okay, and, and I, I, and it was so creepy because in the Bible you have, it says you have no identity. Like you, you don't have identity. And like everyone's faces, I couldn't remember, everyone's faces was blurred. Like no one, you, even though you can see people, they don't have an identity anymore. Their faces were all like, Phew. you know what I mean? Even the demons, I don't remember their faces. It was just like, I could see what they were doing because there was like the shadow. It's hard to explain. But, oh. And these people were screaming and begging and these things had no mercy. And they are raping people in half. Raping people in half. And you would just go back together again and have it people have it done all over again okay and then i kept seeing this woman okay and god was trying to help me he was like trying to let me remember hell the very first second first time i remembered hell okay i couldn't talk, i couldn't talk for two days i was that traumatized that memory and god had turned it down okay the first time i remember hell i couldn't talk for two days two days i was just that traumatized i was just like and I remember, oh man, I remember two like gate, like I remember two like archways, archways, and I remember buildings on fire, like they look, they were like, like a city down there, but it was on fire, okay, um, I remember like, but they were actual physical buildings, I could see the outline of them, and it was on fire, and I remember there was a part that's what I think Gehenna is. When Jesus says hell is like Gehenna, hell's like Gehenna. Gehenna was a place where they they burn trash and dead things, and other dead things would come and eat them. Perfect description, Jesus. Perfect description. Seeing this woman, and I knew what it meant because I was, I had got I I knew what it meant, but I just didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe it. I had to let it go. So. And these things, when I started, um, these things wouldn't leave me alone. I was, they were talking to me all the time. Oh man. And I kept seeing flying shiny things in the sky. Like a lot. Big, big ones and little ones. Like UFO. Um, yeah, I know this sounds crazy. They're, they looked like UFOs. Okay. They were white. There was the middle of the day I was seeing them. I only saw them in the middle of the day twice. But at night the, with the lights, I saw them a lot. These things are from a different dimension. They're not coming from outer space, okay? Because they're, they're always there. They're always there. They're not, sometimes they would hover like this. Okay? Oh, man. And I, and I kept getting stuck between, um, 
and I kept getting stuck like I was trying to figure out how to get out like out of these memories of trying to get these things to leave me alone and I was starting to starting to pray like Jesus a little bit the very first time I, I prayed the blood of Jesus my bed my bed started moving like this I am not kidding these things were like a river under me they're like <sighs> and they're all like oh man it was so demonic oh man uh, so oh, I'm trying to kiss th but this is how my memories are they're all chaotic and I didn't understand what was going on no I know now but and I kept seeing like that's just why I kept thinking there were aliens too because I kept seeing UFOs like they were UFOs you can call me crazy but I'm just telling you the truth this is one the Egyptians my third eye was open the Egyptians they have pictures of UFOs with an eye on it when I started seeing that 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 those pictures haunt my nightmares haunt my dreams because I was like this that's what happened to me and um I'm trying to remember uh in hell all your idols come alive everything everything that you you did instead of worshiping Jesus comes alive down there everything every TV show you watched every book you ever read it's all linked to something else okay um everything I was obsessed with is in there but they they're demons though okay they're na they weren't jesus everything outside of jesus is not it comes from the demonic realm and i used to be really into superheroes i'm gonna bring up the superheroes now i remember in hell this big pit at the time i didn't know what it was what the what these things were later i started figuring these out, this out and god the holy spirit helped me connect these dots because i saw this bit this these are the things i saw there's this pit these were all like superheroes. I'm not kidding. First of all, I already saw, told you Shiva, right? That's like Spider-Man. Same thing. Um, I saw this pit and like these things were running around fast. They were like skinwalkers, you guys. They were like, Phew. they were like, Phew. 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 okay. They were running around and like, did they look like superheroes? No, but once I started like looking at them and thinking about that, they were the superheroes because there was this one this one that was like metallic it was metallic like he had you know you have the armor of god they have the ant the opposite of that it's like the armor of satan and he was metallic but it was a demon this is what iron man is okay iron man and terminator fat they're running around and they had capes on i'm gonna talk about why why, why these things have capes in the bible when they used to sacrifice the de the sins that went on to the goat, the demonic goat, they would tie they would tie it to um a, like a red sheet, and they would break the sheet so the goat would die. Okay, like off a cliff, off the ditch, like into the pit, and the goat would have a um like a like a cape when it was dead. That's why superheroes have capes. That's why witches have capes. That's why when you see Satan, they have capes, okay? That's why, because if you read the Bible and you study it, it explains why. And remember when Jesus died, okay? That that thing, that um, big thing tore in half, like the big flag. I don't want to say flag, but I'm trying to remember the veil. The veil tore in half, okay? The actual red veil tore in half because he took the sacrifice, okay? The sins went on to him. And he died, and it broke this, and the rest of it went on back to on went back to the demonic realm. Anyway, but that's why superheroes wear super capes, you guys. It's literally read the Bible, okay? It's it's them like when the, when the Israelites would sacrifice the goat, okay? They'd make it go into the ditch, hell, and it would, when they got, when they separated the cape from it, I mean, we used the word cape, but it was a veil. It was a red veil, like. The red thing Superman wears, right? They would cut it. They'd break it in half. So it would fall down, right? Because they'd tie it to a stick and break it down. And anyway. So that's why Superman... And these things had capes, okay? And because <laughs> um, they're demons, okay? And I remember... And some of them were glowing um, green. Like Green Lantern. Like, I'm not kidding you. And Hulk, the whole... There was a big one that was really bright green like the hulk i'm not kidding this is why i'm always i'm, I'm always uh, busting on superheroes those things were down there 
Those things are down there. And I remember in hell, there's no blood there. You think everyone's, you think that because everyone is um, getting tortured, that there would be there, there would be blood everywhere. There's no blood. I remember something getting me in the leg. I don't remember. I was obviously it was probably a demon, but I don't remember that part. I just remember something gouged out my leg, and my leg like was gone. It, like one of my leg, like your body parts are flying everywhere, and they just go back because the deep, and you feel every minute, every second of it. Okay, I remember seeing a big gaping wound on my leg, but no blood was coming out. I really remember that. It's like your blood, your toe, that what God says, the blood's his. It goes back to him or something like that. I don't, that's why Jesus had, a, that's why they say the blood of Jesus. It's weird. There's like some magic, that's magic stuff, okay? That blood. That's why when Satanists, I, these Satanists weren't doing that, but they were, when they do animal sacrifices, still, because they need that blood, the innocent blood. The animals are innocent, right? They need the innocent blood for that magic to work. That's why abortion is so powerful. They need that innocent blood for the magic to work. Because babies are innocent. The most innocent was Jesus. That's why we have that power. Okay? We have the most powerful blood above all that other stuff. We It's like the same, but the good and the bad. Blood of Jesus, blood of all these other innocent things, but done, but done by the demonic realm. Okay, that's why sacrifice a virgin. No, really. I know this sounds like mystical stuff, but no, really. They used to do that. I would always hear three knocks at night. One, two, three, and three demons. I would see three shadows of demons. I saw big ones and little ones. Those big ones were scary. They were like this big, okay? And they'd be, they they looked like demons. Like they were like, and they would be like, this is after they stopped acting like they were ghosts, okay? And they'd laugh at me. They would curse me all night long. They would just be like, yeah. And they would curse me along. And they were, they, but you don't understand when I was seeing these things. The Bible says when you see something that fills your body, fills up your whole body. My whole body felt dirty and rotten. It was like my whole body was filling, filling with them. There's no disconnect. Like on, on this earth realm, when you see something, you're just seeing it. When you're in the spirit realm, you see these things, it goes into your body too. It's, it's hard to explain, but that's kind of like how possession works, okay? Because it's all, it's all bound together in the spirit world. It's all connected. It's all this, this, you're all linked like this, okay? So when the Bible says when you look at something evil, it fills your whole body. When I read that, I was like, that explains that weird sensation, sensation I would get when I'd see them. My body would like, ugh. My body would feel dirty from head to toe, okay? And um, lots of ghosts of little kids. Go Demons love acting like ghosts of little kids because they, 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 they know that you think they're innocent and so you're going to talk to them. They're tricky and they're evil, okay? They love acting like ghosts of little kids. They love doing that, okay? And it was so creepy because all these little kid ghosts I was seeing, they'd always have a camera in their head. Like this little kid, this little boy popped. Oh, man. This little boy popped this wall right here. He popped out of this wall. <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus, help me get through this. He po this was a long. This was like two years ago. He popped out of this wall. And I could see him. He was green, but he was a ghost. I could see through. Him. And he had a camera. Ha <laughs> ha. He was laughing. Took a picture and went back into the wall. And I was just like, popped right here out of this wall. You believe me or not? This little kid popped out of this wall. He had a camera in his. If you guys ever see ghosts when they have cameras or they have sunglasses on, or you can't, you know what I mean? They're mo they're they're the watchers. They're monitoring you. God was really man. You want to read the Bible? Study the Bible. Bible. They these things are monitoring you. These demons are monitoring you, especially when you're doing something bad. Because they're just yeah, they're like ready to crack that open. Okay. And I started remembering hell again. God was like trying to work with me. It was a battle. It was a true battle in the wilderness. Just like the Israelites. It was very, it was so creepy because it, it lasted four years and the Israelites were in the in the desert for 40 years. It was a battle. Okay. I was, it was a wrestle, a true wrestle. I was trying to get out of it so hard, but I just didn't understand. I kept thinking that I know that the demons are real, but I kept thinking the ghosts were something else and the, you know what I mean? The aliens were something else. I was I was thought I was just seeing into dimensions, and these were just, just different dimensions. 
I didn't think all the aliens were bad. I didn't think all the ghosts were bad. I think the demons were demons, just like ghost hunters. They know demons are real, but they still think ghosts are something else. So I, uh, cause I watch TV and listen to the TV. So I just kept thinking the same thing and te- that kept getting me stuck. And so when I started watching other people's health t- testimonies and I, talk, I started watching other people's derived testimonies, that helped me a lot. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm, that's why I really, if those people hadn't made those videos, I would be still be doing that stuff because I didn't understand what was going on. And all, you have to cut yourself off from what you were before. And I kept seeing, I kept seeing that big black woman, not, 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 uh, not African American, a big black entity. And when I started looking at it, this is like, I started looking at it, it started separating. Because I refused to let go of the fact that I was gay. Okay, that was why they, that was the last thing they had me on. I wasn't doing anything. I was not having sex. Are you kidding me? I was scared of even talking to people. I, I wasn't having sex or anything like that. But I still was reading lesbian romance novels. I was still, you know, considered myself gay. Okay? And God was trying to tell, warn me, tell me why, why these things still had a gate open to me. Even though I wasn't gay, even though I wasn't actively doing anything gay, I was still identifying as gay, which is of, of the world. And I was still reading my lesbian romance novels and still watching my lesbian shows, okay? And I got really into Klexa. Do you guys know what Klexa is? She's like, she's the Jezebel spirit, okay? She has a third a thing right here. And she, uh, you know, she um, is all black. She's a fucking... Sorry, it's a demon, okay? It's a demon, okay? De- Le- Lexa is a Jezebel spirit. That's why she jumps up. That's why she kicks people off that tower. In the Bible, the Jezebel spirit falls off of the tower. Okay? Anyway, I, I, I kept seeing... I, ugh, I would just say light beings. Like, beings of light. And I don't... Maybe some of them were real angels. I don't know. Because I... I don't, no, I'm not going to say that, though, because... Don't be thinking God's sending you angels if you're, because he, you know, I mean, people think they're always seeing angels and like, they're probably just demons acting like angels and they love doing that too. Okay. Um, I kept seeing, uh, these things would tell me that they were angels because I started really wanting to know who Jesus was. I was like, Jesus is the only one thing can get me out of this because I had tried everything for years to try to get these things to leave me alone. And I kept seeing that black woman, God, and I, I mean, I could see this thing. It wasn't dreaming. I could see this thing. And it, this black woman starts separating. God was really how God's amazing. You should know him. You get to know him, please. He's amazing. He was really trying to get me to understand. I kept seeing this black. So that's why he let these, he got, almost let these demons to do this. So I would learn about them. Okay, so I can tell you. Drugs a long time ago. Drugs. I stopped drinking. I, I stopped smoking. In hell, you can't breathe at all so when i started smoking i started getting panic attacks i started freaking out and having weird um flashback ptsd feelings okay because in hell there is nothing but toxic air down there okay there's nothing but toxic air um you guys i'm gay people please i know i sound like a homophobe now but being gay is a trick okay it's a form of Oh man, I know this sounds coming when it says it. When you hear this, it sounds so evil. Being gay is a form of possession. Okay? You don't, those feelings are real, but it's because they're, you are attached to pan and stuff like that. Other things too, not just pan, like asterisk. Tra- asterisk would turn into a man and turn into a woman at night, like transgender, okay? I, you guys, um,. These are all demons. If you look them up, that's where these you're atta- you're attaching, you're binding yourself to this entity. So you're feeling what they feel when you they're in you. Okay, that's why the, you feel this way. And so anyway, that's why I kept seeing this black woman, and she started separating and it started turning into two women, and they were like having sex and kissing. Okay. And I knew what it meant. I knew what it meant, but I kept compartmentalizing it. I kept pushing it back 
Because I didn't want to believe that being gay was a sin. That was, I let go of everything else, but I did not let that go for a long time. And God was like, you have to let it go, girl. You got to let it go because that, that gateway, you're opening that gateway to them. That's the thing they have on you still. They have legal right to you still because you have that door open for them. Okay? Even though I wasn't actively being having sex, just because you think you're gay and you're doing gay, like, reading gay material, they still had access to me. Okay? So... When I finally was just like, I got so sick of these things, I was just, and I knew what it meant, but I just didn't want to believe it. And so, I started, and, and you know, it was so funny, it's so funny, you guys, not funny, but it's just, I, I sometimes, like a long time ago, before all this happened, I would sometimes see gay testimonies of people who weren't gay anymore, and I used to get so mad at them. Like, what, traitors, oh! I used to be the person at the gay pride plays yelling at the people, at the Christians. I, that was me. I'd be like, you guys are homophobic. I was about to go over there and punch him. That was me, and now I'm that person. Okay? So, it's... So, I had... It really took me a while. It took... I just didn't want to let it go. I... Because being gay is of the world, okay? You have to do what the Bible says. God wrote these things in the Bible to protect you from these entities. For, to protect you from being bound to them. Okay? And even if you are born gay, it's a familiar spirit. You can be born with a gene of addiction. You can be born with a gambling addiction, right? That's why it's called Genesis. You have demonic DNA in you. When something's hereditary, it's a, it's a familiar spirit, okay? When something's hereditary, it goes in your family, it's a familiar spirit, okay? That's why another reason why Jesus said you have to be born again, okay? So even if you're born gay, if you're born with the addiction, you have to be born again so you get, get cut off from that stuff, okay? So I kept seeing this black woman, and, she was, and it turned to, the reason why she was so big is it was actually two women, and they were having sex. They were like doing this. God, let, her, let me see that and know what that was, but I kept putting it back. like, no. Even though I knew what it meant, I knew what he was trying to get me to understand. I didn't want to believe God. I was like, no. And that's why these demons just had that on me. Okay. So when I finally, I was like, and when I finally had it with these things, I think mean, we think it was, we would not leave me alone. I was like, fine. I just deleted all my, I had thousands of dollars of worth of lesbian romance novels. I was so addicted to those things. So finally, and this, this is my last, um, the last thing I had with my third eye. Okay. Um, and after this, it was crazy. So I, I, I was like, fine, I'm not, I'm going to delete all my lesbian, lesbian romance novels, okay? And I'm just going to just stay away from them. I'm trying so hard to get these things to me alone. I'm trying to just be, like, dedicated to the Bible and Jesus, okay? Because I'm just so sick of these things, and I just want to... Oh, I had to restart. Um, I, ha I have a little wooden cross. It's, like, this big. My sister gave it to me. It's from Bethlehem. And so I started praying with that. And I, the first, like, the last supernatural third eye thing I had um, was when um, I I was praying with it. And this thing came into my room. Okay, my, this thing came to my room. I have so many th stories about my third eye. But, like, I'm just trying to do the main ones. Because I'll be here making this video will be even longer. Um, this thing came into my room. Okay, it was black. It was, it was pitch black. It was like a shadow person. It tried to yank this th the cross out of my hands. Okay, I it, I was just like no. Okay. Um, and I, man, um, I would I was going like this. I was like no. I was like uh -uh, I'm not. I'm so sick of you things. I was so mad. I wasn't even scared of the thing. I was so frustrated and mad at these things. I couldn't get them to leave me alone. And I was just like linking the cross like this. And all these bound binds on my back. Uh, like binds all over my body broke. Like. Like. It was like. It felt like rubber bands breaking off of me. Okay. And that was like probably the last really supernatural thing I've had. I've had sleep paralysis. Okay. I've had sleep paralysis. Um. 
And I'm not kidding you, like when I had sleep paralysis, um, I couldn't move, and but sometimes I could open my eyes, and I, this is when I was reading the Bible, and this thing would pick up my Bible, but I couldn't move at all. I was, I could, I could, and I couldn't say Jesus when I when you have sleep paralysis. Try saying Jesus is out, Jesus' name out out loud. It's hard, okay? Because when when you when you have demons on you, de uh, it literally says in the Bible, Jesus' name will not pass your lips like ever again after you die if you haven't been saved. Okay, that's one thing God won't allow. Jesus' name will never pass through your mouth again. Um, ooh, this is a long, mixed-up video, but that's how my memory and my experience of hell is. It's all mixed together. So I'm just trying to, that's how, I'm, that, that's how God had me do it. This is all the only way I can do it. Um, and when these binds broke off and this black thing tried to rip the, the cross from my hands... And I wouldn't let go. All these binds, bounds broke, and everything stopped. I, every, uh, most things stopped. And the next day, I literally felt things flying off of my body when I was praying. I got saved for real. Again, I got saved. These things were flying off my body. I felt physical. My physical sins leave my body. Okay, and my sins just happened to look like demons. Okay, like sins or demons. It was, it's the same thing. And it's so crazy because when I saw Pan Lee, when I, when I saw Pan and these things going, like, I didn't physically see Pan at this point, but I saw, like, I felt these things leaving my body, okay? I, that, I, but I did see Pan at the doorway. No, I'm not lying about that, okay? When I saw, when I felt these things leaving my body, all of my desires for these things that were um, evil left. I have no desire for women anymore. It's gone. And I was gay for 20 years. I had many girlfriends. I was married to a woman. I don't have desires for women anymore. I, does that mean I like men now? I date men? No. Are you kidding me? I am never having sex again. You guys don't even know what you're doing when you have sex. That, especially if it's not protected by God, it's a ritual. Every single time. It's a satanic ritual. I'm not kidding. That's why I'm always bringing up sex, sex magic. Trust me. You are bringing things on you when you have sex without god's permission you really are okay i know that oh the the devil has put it in our society that these rules are old and you don't have to listen to them anymore oh god's just being bossy and strict no he did those rules to protect you not because he's being bossy <laughs> he did those rules because he loved you he's trying to protect you from these things and you don't listen to them the devil is completely brainwashing when not to listen to them but i honestly don't like i used to watch a lot of uh, science fiction movies i don't do that anymore i don't care about alien stuff anymore I, I had my fill with that stuff but i just like read the bible i watch movies every now and then but i don't really i don't really like watching tv anymore i just like talking about i just like i like reading the bible i like talking about the bible that's what i like to do what's what i like to do i like reading the bible it's, when Jesus saves you from your sins, you don't want your sins anymore. It's not like a big, huge temptation anymore. I'm not saying I don't get tempted a little bit sometimes, but not really. Not really. Um, Jesus can save you from your sins, and it sounds, it sounds so hard to let go of all these things that you liked, but it's not. It won't be. He'll help you, good, he'll help you get rid of these desires to even want to do those things anymore you guys hell is so horrific it's punishment it, it means cut off you're cut off from god completely okay and you are physically being tortured forever physically tortured and emotionally tortured and your mind is blown okay it's every type of torment it's way beyond anything you can imagine on earth okay and i know you think god and the one, the reason why you did, if you went to hell, hell for all your sins, because everyone's a sinner, but you went to hell, think of it, you went to hell because you didn't accept Jesus. That's, you can be the nicest person, you, it's not through works. You can be the nicest person, you can save people's lives, like be a doctor and save 20 people a day, you will still go to hell if you don't believe in Jesus. That's not how it works. I know that doesn't sound fair, but it is fair. You guys... God made didn't make hell for us, and we can't cope with it. I remember being split in half almost. Okay, and it was physical pain. Um, bat lengthwise being split in half, 
And I didn't know what these memories were until I started reading the Bible and talk, hearing other people's testimonies. I remember my ribs being broken in half from the back. This is serious. They, my, I, they, I remember something slashing me open like something took an a, a, a axe to my back. And, and my memories of hell are mostly physical and um, in, um, audio things too, okay? Because it's pitch black down there. I mean the utter absence of light. When you close your eyes and you see lights behind your eyes, that's... It's not like that. It's pitch black when you close. There's no shit. You keep your eyes open. You keep your, shut your eyes. It's the same thing. You're still going to see into the spirit world when you're dead, okay? Your eyelids aren't what they are any, anymore, okay? Oh, man. It's so hard to explain. And plus, there's no water down there. I remember being so thirsty. I remember being so thirsty. Uh, and, like, and my mouth was just, like, a prune. Like, I... Like, I was just, anything, a drop of water. Like with Lazarus and Rich Man, you would do anything for a drop of water, okay? And you are so, and it talks about how weak, how, and it says, as weak as we in the Bible. Um, you, I remember being really weak. I mean, like you had pneumonia, okay? Like you had pneumonia. I had pneumonia once. And it was like, pneumo I had, it was way worse. I could, I couldn't barely move, but you're forced to stay moving. You're... There's no rest day or night, Revelations. There's no rest for the wicked. You can. You are so exhausted. Like, have you ever stayed up for like 24 hours and you're just like, and you're almost losing your mind because you're so tired? It's like that forever. Okay? You can never sleep again. Imagine how, and, but you feel, feel, the, feel it. You feel the tiredness. It's not like you're excited the whole time. You don't want to sleep. There's no adrenaline rush, okay? It's you are exhausted. You are absolutely exhausted. Your body is blown. Your mind is blown. You're for you're so tired. All you want to do is lay down. All you want to do is die. And but you can't or go to sleep forever. You wish you could go to sleep. You imagine staying up for eternity and you feel it. How tired I really remember how tired I was. Okay? I could not go to sleep. You can't go to sleep. There's no such thing as sleep. There's no rest, day or night. I mean, I, you guys, and I'm talking. I'm gonna talk about the casino again. I'm gonna put the link below. But I already talked about the casino because it's very hard. I saw. <laughs> Oof. I saw like a house of lights, and I know it's, I just said it's pitch black, but I can only tell you what I what I I can tell you. Okay. And it's pitch black, but you see light. It's like you're seeing it with your third eye. You can still see in the dark, even though there's no lights. It's like having your third eye open. You can see better in the in that night with your third eye open. Third eye open. Okay. I just felt something that freaked me out. Anyway, it's like having your third eye open at at night. I could see a thing these things better, even though there was no lights. Okay. And it was horrifying. So, down in hell, your third eye is open. Everyone's third, everyone's third eye is open. You don't need light to see these things. Okay? But it's because in reality, it's pitch black. But, so, this is what I saw. Okay? I saw... I, I already talked about this before. I remember, like, the House of Lights, and there were so many people in there, you guys. And I, this could have been a gay club too, but I remember it looked like a casino and because it has many lights, like a gay club, okay? And it was a casino because there's multi-layered meanings to everything. Like in the Bible, there's multi-layered meanings to everything. But I think this one was, I was hearing my family members. My family members. This is why I really didn't, well, I thought that was going crazy. My family's members aren't dead, okay? But they were in a casino in hell, Okay, because my, all my family members are really addicted to gambling. They like gambling. Okay, so um, they and I could just hear my their these voices of them ab begging me to open the gate. They are like it was many voices too, but I can remember distinctly hearing my family members. Okay, and that used to scare me a lot because I know that demons can mim mim mimic people, mimic people. So I didn't know if I should share that or not. Like, I don't know if it was just demons pretending to be my family members. You know what I mean? Because they can mimic voices. Like skinwalkers. Like Terminator. You know how Terminator can mimic voices? You think that's, just, that's different? It's not. Okay? 
like skinwalkers can mimic voices. Terminator can mimic, mimic voices, okay? You know, you know that that was like that metallic demon. It's the same thing. Robots are Oh, okay, no okay. Oh, I'm I'm losing track, I'm sorry. I just have so much to say. Um So and I just oh, these people are just telling me to open the gate. And I, at the time, I didn't know what it was, but when I started reading the Bible, it talks. They're asking me to open the gate so they can go to heaven, okay? Because these people weren't dead yet, okay? God broke through all of those demon tricks, okay? When I got saved, He made me know. He, when I read the Bible, He helped me understand what all the stuff these memories were, because I was kept hearing people screaming, "Open the gate!" And I was like, "What are they talking about?" I didn't know what it was. When I got saved, I knew. It's like the Holy Spirit downloaded all those why he the holy spirit downloaded why of everything okay and they're begging me to open the gate and there was just so many people behind him there was like a road it went on for miles of people in this in this house of lights okay which could be gay it could have been a gay club but i think it was a casino too it's both because i'm i know that one of the reasons why god has a a, a meaning to help me help gay people because like I was gay, and I'm telling you, I know that it just sounds homophobic, but being gay is a sin, okay? It really is. It's of the world. Whatever the world says it's okay to do, you have to do what the Bible says, okay? Do the opposite. God, the, the Bible always warns about doing what everyone else is doing. Don't follow what the world... Ah. Don't follow what the world is doing because it'll lead you down with everyone else. Most people are going to go to hell. I don't want that. God never wanted that. But that's what happened because you guys keep listening. Don't listen to the Bible. You don't even read it. Um, and you wonder, you really think the meaning of life is to watch the TV and make money all, and that's it? You realize, really think that's what you're supposed to be, but the meaning of life? It, the Bible tells you what the meaning of life is. Okay? If you, just because you don't want to believe it and you won't let your sins go, it's still true. It doesn't matter. You can go to not believe in God. You cannot believe in the devil and go to right to hell. The devil doesn't want you to know he's real. Why would he do that? He That's not part of the deal. He's deceiving you. Means that you don't know. Alright. So, please... um. Realize that if you do not believe in Jesus, you will go to hell no matter what. And the real Jesus, the Bible version of Jesus, those fake versions, religious versions of Jesus, that's the Antichrist Jesus, okay? You have to read the Bible to know who Jesus is. And I'm going to explain to you why hell happened. When we die, when, when Adam and Eve bit the apple and, and Nephilim came, we kept doing... The opposite of what God said, it, sin became a cancer. Read it. That's why it keeps splitting in two. That's why it keeps splitting in two. And then, like, first there was one rule, right? Don't bite, eat the apple. Then there was ten rules. Ten commandments. And then, by the end of the Old Testament, there was 800 rules. There's 800 rules of Moses. Sin is a cancer because you don't listen to it. The first one. Okay? So, what happened was, um, you guys don't understand... How holy God is. You can physiologically cannot be in his existence, in his world, with sin on you. Okay? I'm trying to get you guys thinking of a different way. You physiologically, in your soul, because your soul is, phys is physical too, okay? Um, cannot be in God's presence without being clean. And the only way you could do that is with Jesus. Okay? You can't, it's not through works. You can be the nicest person ever. It doesn't work like that, okay? It doesn't work like you have to believe in Jesus to even, you, 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 the Bible says, trust not on your own understanding because this stuff is so beyond, this is like 10 dimensional stuff. 10, 10th dimensional understanding, we will never understand. That's why it says, trust not on your own understanding. Just do what the Bible says, try to do what the Bible says and follow what Jesus says, okay? Even though it doesn't make sense to you, it makes sense to watch TV all day and just assume God loves you and you're going to heaven. That makes sense to people for some reason. Okay? No. Okay. 
just like I didn't understand why being gay was a sin, or I didn't understand being gay was bad. I didn't understand, but I had to believe in the Bible. It says, trust not on your own understanding. Okay? I understand. I understand more now, okay, because you're being bound to something that's not of, of God, okay? But God made hell for demon, the devil and his angels, and he just puts you there with them until the lake of fire. He just puts you there with them. Because you're all cut off from him. You kept choosing the demons, so you go and you spend your life you spent your whole life worshiping demons, ignoring Jesus and worshiping demons, so you're gonna spend your eternity with them. He's gonna give you what you wanted. Okay, he's gonna give you what you chose in your life. You're free you use your free will to worship these things, spend all your time and energy worshiping these things, and you're there you're gonna spend your God's gonna give you what you want and your eternity is gonna be with them. It's the best. That could be a fun version, okay? Um, the reason why there's a hell, and God, you end up going there, is because you guys don't realize how God, how holy God is. You aren't just um, it's 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 the the penalty for what you're sinned against goes up, right? Like if you um, scratch a, a beat up car, if you scratch a beat up car. Uh, um, they use this metaphor a lot, but it's true. Okay, if you go and get a key and scratch a car, a, be a junkyard car, maybe the junkyard guy might get mad, but he might not care too much. If you go to a Porsche dealership and scratch the uh, the key, key, it you're gonna get in big trouble, right? Because the thing you're sinning against is is has more value. So when you sin against God, who is infinitely good, the punishment is infinitely bad. Okay, that it's a even it's a ju even judgment. He's judge. His his judgment is even just because you've been tricked to believe that all these bad things are good. Doesn't mean he's being more lenient. It means you're just being tricked, and more people are going to hell. That's it. You can't be in his existence being dirty like that. All right. Um. And it's the same thing. Like if you step on an ant, no one's gonna care. If you step on someone's cat. You know how the value goes up? If you step on up, you start beating, you start kicking people. That's like a crime, right? Right? Like if you lie, the, the value is, a, it's, a, it's all about the value of God compared to your, to um, the value of everything else. He's infinitely good. So your sins against him are so bad. Even one, okay? Um, like if you step, uh, so you're always gonna pay for it. You can never. There's no end to it because he's always he's no end to his goodness. It's the even the a flip side of it. Okay, that's why hell is so bad, and that's why it's forever. Okay, he tries to explain that in the Bible. He doesn't want him. God, Jesus mourns for every person that goes to hell. He doesn't. Well, God, but he didn't send you there. You sent yourself there. Okay, you don't have to believe in the devil to go to hell. He doesn't. You just have to not believe in Jesus to go to hell. Even if you're an atheist, you're going to go to hell. It's not about what you believe. It's about the truth. It's like, oh, I don't believe in gravity, but your feet are going to be st still stuck to the ground, aren't they? Okay? You don't believe in Jesus? You don't believe in hell? You're still going to go there. It has nothing to do with what you truly in your heart believe is to be the truth. I truly think there is no God. Fine, but you're still going to go to hell. I was an atheist when I died. I still went to, I went, still went to hell, okay? Um, God isn't being more lenient because we're being more evil. We're ignoring the Bible more. He's not breaking. He's not becoming more lenient. Okay. All right. He isn't. We. God doesn't change. He changes us. God doesn't. He is not changing his mind since the Bible. Just because we are been tricked not to believe in it anymore. And oh, everybody has sex before marriage now. That doesn't mean more people, he's just breaking, going to bend the rules. That just means more people are going to hell. That's all it means, okay? Unfortunately, that's the truth. No one wants to hear it. If you, I know this sounds hard and rough, but it's like a cancer patient holding your ear, like your hands above, over your ears, not hearing, I don't want to hear that I have cancer. Well, if you're not, fine, but you're not going to hear the solution. You're not going to hear the, the remedy. The remedy is Jesus, Okay. And you're not going to get saved. If you keep ignoring this, if you keep ignoring your afterlife, if you keep ignoring your what's going to happen when you die, you're, 
you're going to you're going to be dead and you're going to go right to hell. You have to face it. What what's going to happen when you die? Figure it out. I um the answer is Jesus in the Bible. I wanted to talk about um the two big demons. I saw two big demons in hell. They lo- they these things were like 15 feet tall and they were standing outside of my cell. I don't know if these are like, these guys were like gatekeepers or something. They're huge. And they looked like they looked like truly fallen angels with broken wings. Their wings were broken, but they had like bat wings. Okay, they weren't like pretty wings. Their wings were broken, and these things were just like, <sighs> like outside of like where I was being held at the time. So horrible. Oh man. Another thing I wanted to really point out. It was so scary. You know you're there forever, and there's, you guys hell. And heaven too, probably, because i would never been to heaven, obviously. They are outside of time, okay? These things are, um, there is no sense of time down there. It's like, you can't tell if you've been there for two seconds or a million years. It doesn't work like that. There's absolutely, your mind cannot wrap around, it's, your, you can't wrap, wrap your mind, you cannot wrap your consciousness, consciousness around what I'm talking about. Because you're in a different state. You're in a different dimension, okay? You're in a different state of existence. There's no time down there. There's not... Well, it's, it's, it's forever. Does that mean it's abundance of time or of no time? It's neither. It's outside of time. Time doesn't exist there. That's why it's forever, okay? You can't... You have no sense of time down there. You can count to 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, then your lips will just, like, go slower or faster. You know what I mean? And it's so... when I remember people... I remember... First of all, you're not allowed to communicate with other people down there. You're there by yourself. Okay? But I remember, like, seeing people's motions. It was so scary, you guys. Please don't go to this place. Like, people were, like... You ever seen scary movies where they move really fast and they go slow and they move really fast and go slow? That's how people were moving. But they were, like... And they're, like... Some of them were moving like zombies. That's exactly where zombies come from. Like, all these scary movies, they come from, like... People who've been tapping the demonic realm and they see these or have dreams and they're like, oh, that sounds really interesting because this stuff is real. All those zombie movies are about, you know, you can't, you can't move and you're moving very slowly and you're tired and you're constantly just rotting. That's exactly what you're doing down there. Okay. And people would start, like people were either moving really fast or they're moving slow. It was, it was so chaotic. Even there's no peace of mind. Your mind is going so fast and slow. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, I know it doesn't make sense. Like your, like your mind is racing to try to understand or wrap its, your mind around what's going on, but you can't do it. Okay, hell was not made for us. We can, our our bodies and minds and our spirits can't even begin to cope with this place. We were made to be on Earth with God. Okay, but. He gave, um, uh, he gave his spirit family and his human family free will, okay? And when they both started rebelling, okay? They both started rebelling. They both started, because they both have free will, okay? And they, and then he just put them together and went, okay? They don't die. Demons, I know you guys just think God can just kill demons. These, he made, we are made eternally. Demons are too, can't, why can't God just get rid of demons? If God could, God could probably do that, but we're bound to them. So we would all be with them. He'd get rid of it. Have to kill everybody. We're, we are, um, the devil has legal rights to us. Okay. Cause since we die, he became, he became the legal right before Jesus died. He had the legal right rights to every soul that died because he started it. He had legal right. To every soul who died. Okay. So God kind of made a loophole with Jesus. That's why he had to die and rise from the dead. He had to conquer death. So he can have the legal right back. I know you. Th- I know that's hard to understand. I'm trying to get you guys to understand. The devil had legal right to everything that died. He became the lord of the dead. Anything that. So death and decay is all down there. Everything's constantly rotting you are constantly rotting but walls are rotting you oh i forgot to mention too there's like weird writings all over the wall like egypt I, i'm gonna use the word egyptian but i don't know like demonic scrolls
script, okay, it's all over the walls and it's moving like it's all moving like when I caught when I said my ball testimony, it's all like moving and it's all going over your body too. There's no disconnection. You're bound to that place. You can feel it moving in you. You're not separate. Okay, there's no you anymore. You're all in there together, and, but at the same time, you're by yourself. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's how chaotic it is. Even your, even the cells, there's like miles of cells, of, and all switching. It's like, it's like, um, um, a labyrinth. That's where all those labyrinth movies come from. Cause hell moves. It moves and shapes and shifts, and there's no like beauty to it. There's no. Uh, there's no um, rhythm or rhyme to it. It's all chaotic. Everyone's cells are moving like this. Oh, it's so scary, guys. And you, everyone's just so scared. You're just like, you're just like, ah. Oh. Everyone's screaming. You can't even, you can't even like begin to have a peace of mind of anything. You don't get used to it. You know, I mean, when you're having a bad time on earth and you get used to it, that comes from God, okay? When you get used to things, you can like, you adapt. There's no adapt. Every second is like the first second you got there forever, okay? And there's no time. There's no such thing as time. Time doesn't exist there. You can't tell how long. I couldn't tell how long I was there. I can't even tell you how long I was dead. I, and this is really creepy because um, it's, it's, just, it's just the hope in it, the hopelessness. The hopelessness lasts forever. It's like you know you can never get out. You know you're going to be there forever. You know it's not like a temporary cleansing. Like some religions beliefs teach that. It's forever. And everyone's going there, you guys. Everyone. Everyone is going there now. Almost everyone. Please don't be one of them. Get yourself saved. Go to a really good church that teaches the Bible. Please. Okay, I'm going to try to put a link in the prayer at the bottom. Say a prayer to Jesus. Like, how if this girl's crazy, maybe I'm crazy. But... What if I'm not, okay? Think about what I'm not. I'm, this is, could have been in your chance, okay? 